Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't think this should be a surprise to anybody. Uh, if you look at, um, my very first, uh, anti-centrism video, uh, I think I literally imply that I'm a centrist, like, very heavily, uh, throughout the whole thing. I think I might have outright said so. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of baffling to me how I fooled so many people into thinking that I was not a centrist. So, okay, let me, uh, let me break this down for you. Satire is when you say the opposite of what you mean, uh, uh, for effect. It, it's like I'm being ironic for a point. The point, the point of, of playing the extremists, this is going to blow your mind, is to make fun of the extremists. I like the status quo. I like having running water. I like being able to, like, walk outside and buy stuff and talk to friends. You know, I like, I think we did pretty good considering we're just a bunch of apes. I am worried. I'm worried about rising tides. I'm worried about the rise of populism. I'm worried about left-wing populism and I'm worried about right-wing populism. I think, you know, if commies take over and, and, and just destroy capital, I think we're gonna starve. I'm worried about fascists taking over and putting minorities to death. I'm worried about that too. I am a moderate person. I have always been a moderate person. I don't have uh, very strong political views one way or another. Uh, and I find it hilarious that so many people manage to care about politics so much. That being said, you know, I'm not apolitical. I vote liberal every year. I understand most of my fan base are political extremists. I understand that. And I, I, I don't want to um, tell you guys that you're all stupid, but I do think that you believe harmful political ideologies that are going to lead to the deaths of people if they get implemented. I am an artist, all I really wanna do is make art for God's sake. Again, just to drive this point home, one of my first political videos was uh, called Just Culture Warren, and it's this uh, this extremist talking to this guy in a gray shirt. And the guy in the gray shirt is just me. And the, and the, the extremist is just like <laughs> smashing people's heads and being like, we got a culture war, we got a culture war right now. And then uh, I'm just like, like, what's going on? And the what's going on guy, I eventually developed into the centrist. And I think um, part of the reason the political compass rap took off is because it incorporated the centrist. The only person that thinks about the centrist is the centrist. You understand that. The internet has created these echo chambers where people are just fed, you know, their own beliefs into, into themselves over and over again. These leftists and these, these right-wingers, they think, oh, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. And we've just lost any sense of objective truth. And I think that's a terrible thing. We need objective truth to function as a society. So, I don't know, I'm always looking for ways to de-radicalize people, to bring people closer together, closer to the center. I am worried that there's gonna be some kind of dramatic status quo change, and I, I want to do anything in my power that I can to show people that, you know, they believe, they believe really far out things. That's, that's what the wacky ideologies are there for as well. It's to show, you know, you take these ideologies to a logical conclusion, you get stuff that just doesn't make any sense. Centricide as a series is my attempt to mock political ideologies. The, the NCOM is just like a whiny brat screaming all the time. The NCAP literally has child wives. I'm not sure why people, why people like, like that character. And then the fascist and, and the communist are a fascist and a communist. You're not supposed to like them. Part of the reason I decided to come out with my political ideology is because I find it really worrying that people are missing the satire. Uh, people are missing the message of what I'm trying to get across. Uh, I'm just trying to say political ideologies, when taken to the extreme, are stupid and you shouldn't be believing them and it's gonna do real harm if a bunch of people start believing them. I, I, like, I like to believe in, in rationality. I like to believe in reason. I like to think that people will choose the option that is logical and reasonable over the one that is extreme and emotional. I recommend reading Angela Nagel's Kill All Normies. Uh, it's a decent book. It's a little further left than my belief system is. Um, when I started realizing I was a centrist, I went and I looked up, you know, centrism online, and uh, I, I realized everybody hated centrists. The first thing that popped up before, you know, anything centrism related, I was trying to find communities of like-minded centrists. And the first thing that popped up was um, just people shitting on centrists. So I thought, maybe I can monetize this. <laughs> maybe, I can, maybe I can use this hatred and throw it back in their face. And uh, that's what I did. So yes, if, uh, if I were to uh, sum up my messages, the messages I have on this channel, it'd be pretty simple. Um, don't take your politics too seriously. 
uh, don't don't uh, kill anybody just because you you disagree with them. Your ideology shouldn't advocate for beheading landlords or uh, minorities. Okay, and the Nazbol is is the prime example of this. Who wants to do both? Uh, that's why I make the Nazbol joke so often. It's because like, haha, look at that. It's it's absurd. It's ridiculous. Please try not to be that. So now you know. Um, thank you so much for 200,000 subscribers. I'm sure I will lose a few after coming out as a centrist, but um, uh, I think in the future you will see that I'm making a lot more, you know, centrism themed content. And uh, without all the layers of irony, I'll just start speaking speaking about centrism and, and why that's important. Why why we should why we should be more centrist. Um, but yeah, thanks for following me. Bye.